Hi guys, here's Yi. I was going to upload a cooking video today, but instead I'm going to talk about five things I like about Germany. This is for people who are interested in Germany and my life here. I apologize for any misinformation here in this video. They are all my own observations as a foreigner living here in Deutschland. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is organic, vegan and superfood here in Deutschland. Deutschland is probably one of the most health conscious country in this world. There are a great variety of health products available not only in organic supermarket but also in everyday regular shops such as DM and the Horseman. I'm going to talk about these um, druggeries later. So we have all these upscale products from some fancy brands like Davut. Um, they're doing lots of commercials and sales in the shops recently. That's why I recognize this um, brand. Um, apparently they have 30 years experience in making healthy food from rice, cereal, nuts to snacks, even microwave food. Yet we have all these cheap alternatives from all the supermarkets. I purchase most of my from DM and Horseman, not because they have better quality, just for the convenience of it. Um, their shops are simply everywhere. They are cheap and they have a huge varieties of almost everything in DM. They call their organic products DM Beal. In Horseman they are called Aina Beal. So Aina, not Anal. And the second thing is fresh fruit, veggies, uh, especially berries. I'm a huge fan of fresh fruits. After all the tropical fruits, my favorite are berries. So blueberry, raspberries, blackberries. They can be really pricey in Australia and China, but uh, not in Germany. They are selling like a half kilo for three euros last month when they were in season. So I was told that berries are very fussy about the soil acidity. Uh, so not every country can grow berries. Germany is blessed with the right soil for it. Even my in-laws are growing some blackberries. You could see me picking some of uh, blackberries last year in one of my older videos. Not only that, Germany is surrounded by nations with a huge agriculture sector. Uh, although I prefer to buy German produce, uh, fruits and veggies for environmental reasons. Uh, the tomato from Spain, the free ranch chicken from France, they are just as good if not better. The third one is bakeries and bread, German bread. I have been making quite a few uh, recipes uh, with my sourdough starter. Mm, but this practice is actually quite unnecessary in Germany. Most of German bread are made from rye sourdough uh, and uh, lots of grains and nuts. They are probably the healthiest bread you can find. We're gonna respect German bakers. What they offer are not only good quality but also very cheap. Uh, a Bochian costs only 20 to 35 cents each. Some of those bakeries even bake uh, vegan bread. The fourth I'm going to talk about are the discounters here in Deutschland. Um, Germans are not only health conscious but also price conscious, especially in the state of Baden-Württemberg. That's what I have heard. Um, I don't know about others, but for my husband, price comparison is almost like a hobby. So we are constantly looking for good price, good deals, discount, coupon. We only purchase things when they are on sale, basically. That could be the reason why discounters are so successful in Deutschland, such as Lidl and Aldi. Uh, so what are discounters? They are pretty much small supermarkets with very competitive price. They sell things in the original package, so save the time with unpacking and um, putting them on the shelves. 
Um, there is already Aldi in Australia in some big cities uh, and Lido is going to open in some US cities as well. So I guess very soon this concept is not going to be unique only in Germany anymore. The last one is fruit and veggies self-picking service. Um, nothing special about fruit and veggie self-picking but the self-service system is quite special. I'm not talking about self-scanning machines at supermarket. I'm talking about real self-service on the field. Um, you pick as many flowers as you like according to the price tag hanging above the money jar. You throw in as much as you think is worth. So it's a test on every customer how much would you pay or if you pay at all. According to a study, 80% of people are honest when they use this service. That's why this old business model could still work in Deutschland. I'm actually surprised how high this number is. Um, this model is not only used in flower self-picking, but also in churches and some public toilets. That's all I could think of for this video. I'll try to make more videos on my channel to share a bit more of my life here with you guys. And thanks for watching. See ya. Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here. Click here. Click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.